This viral OnlyFans girl has apparently found God. Now, do we know her? She's the girl that I know from the Whatever podcast. Specifically, I believe she was on an episode with Andrew Wilson, who you guys know is my one way arch enemy. <laughs> I just love making fun of Andrew Wilson. He's so funny. He's just like such a horrible person. But anyways, like with peace and love, wishing the best, you know? And so I remember her on that video with him and also the whatever podcast is just, just, just like such a cesspool of human beings. But, you know, what are you going to do? So at this point, everybody knows about the whatever podcast. It's basically this one oh, guy see? and his. It's the Andrew Wilson episode. His friends or co-workers who invite like seven different OF girls or corn industry people or whatever. And they just debate about a bunch of dumb stuff. Ooh, I will say, I feel like the women are slightly more attractive than the girls who show up on Fresh and Fit, but not really. They're not really my types, but also this type of man, whatever category of man this is, least attractive man could not be less attracted to them. There's something about their aesthetic. I don't know how to explain which bubble they're in, but I know it when I see it, least attractive to me. There's mean versions and nice versions of boys who look like this. The nice versions are sweet boys. These are the mean ones. The whatever podcast hosts, there's, again, you know what I'm talking about? There's a suburb boy who looks like this and there's the nice version and the mean version. And I like the nice version, but the mean versions, stuff regarding uh, modern dating. And to be honest, I I've always thought it's just a bit of a business transaction. Basically, the girls always come on and say the most extremely outrageous sh which I, I think they do believe. And the host just calls them really dumb. Oh my God, it's Luna Lovegood. If this girl is not Luna Lovegood, I am not a Slytherin. What? And then he gets tons of uh, quiz. What house is Luna Lovegood in? Because I just took a Harry Potter quiz last night. Who knows what house Luna Lovegood is in? Don't Google it. Well, package clips and shorts for uh, his channel. And then the, the OnlyFans girls get their free promo because simps obviously don't care if you're smart or anything. They just care if you're hot. So it's basically a win-win for both of them. But recently something happened. One of the viral guests, let's just call her red hair lady. She actually turned to God. Apparently she has found Jesus and has quit OnlyFans and has quit the corn industry. She even got like baptized or something like that. But um Ugh, everybody being dipped in water. Everyone dripping out here. Ravenclaw, let's go. It's true. Luna Lovegood is a Ravenclaw. She's wise. Right? Ravenclaw is like wisdom. Right? I think. Um, uh, I don't think things are as they seem. Seems like people are very, very easily manipulated on the internet. So let's start the story where it began with her appearance on the whatever podcast. How are you crazy? I'm dominant. You're dominant? Yes. Okay. I just, when I originally saw her with the Andrew Wilson stuff, it just seemed like such a persona, which is fair. I assume a lot of these girls are persona-ing, that they're not real. And the men want her to be this way. And also secretly, not so secretly, allegedly, the guy who's talking to her right now is into her. And allegedly, they have a situationship that I have not confirmed, but allegedly, according to the comments, was happening. You and you, I'm sorry lay you and lay you <laughs> until you know <laughs> like you're like oh my god i have no more inside my body anymore it's the no f is wrong with this lady like you'll never want to cheat on yeah, me it's, no you'll be drained right. like there's nothing left in you to cheat but i will cheat because i'm bored wait your biggest fantasy is cheating. not even cheating. my biggest it's like one of my fantasies i'm a little up. i don't even have to be with someone but if you're with someone and you have a girl i'm gonna sit on your and be like isn't my tighter isn't it better? Isn't that just hot? Oh, you want the competition. No. I'm a competition yeah. in myself. Like, I just have to... It's not even that I have to win. Wait, you it's want... like... Men acting like they're grossed out by her, but let's be real, they're all in her DMs, okay? I'm grossed out by her, but I also think it's performative. I'm not convinced this is her real life, but she could be that fucked up. I mean, plenty of people are. But you know, it could also be a thing she's doing to get men to come into her DMs. Like, Hold on, you want to cheat on the guy or you want the guy to cheat on you? Either. I've been in relationships and I'm like cheating with someone else and I'm like, this is so hot. Okay, so lots of disgusting stuff. I don't know how much of that I actually put in, but basically she said that, yeah, my fantasy is basically cheating on people, admitting she's a, a degenerate, no moral compass, and a lot of other unholy things that if you had a family, you just won't be saying online. And uh, the usual spiel went down. Brian and all is just like, yeah, 
you're dumb, whatever, cook her and make some uh, viral clips there. If we look at the comments, obviously they hate her. I truly blame social media for this behavior. I love Mary's reaction. She looks disgusted, shocked, utterly dismayed by Redhead's words. Redhead is broken beyond repair. She's clearly mentally ill. There's no point in laughing at her or hating her. If I had to spend a day with this one, I'd probably unalive myself. So basically people- Yeah, Snowfire says sounds like she's promoing. I'm telling you. I think it's I think it's rage click rage bait. What's it called? Rage bait. I think she's rage baiting them. I think she's pissing them off. So they angry sign up for her OnlyFans and jerk off to her in anger. Men are stupid. Not all men. Just the category of men that fall for women who are on the whatever podcast or on Fresh and Fit. Remember that the women who go on Fresh and Fit make more money going on that podcast than if they do like they make so much more money. And that's from the men who claim that they're disgusting because men also have this fantasy of jerking it to women they think are disgusting. People really don't like her. So what is the perfect story here? Well, uh, she turns to God. Good morning, everybody. Okay. Which I, I actually think is also a promo. I think she's, she, yeah, I think this is also fake probably. Okay, so really quick, I have a couple things to address and I just need you to listen to me. So I've had quite a few people reach out to me, comment, you know, just truly curious about what and why I changed. So, so listen, I was a pastor's kid for almost all my life. I grew up in church. I was always in church. You know, I was also homeschooled. So my life truly felt like a cage. And I'm not saying Christianity is a cage. I'm saying religion was the cage. Mm. I was a Baptist, you know, I was a Bas Baptist pastor's child for the longest time, right? Me and my family did not have a good relationship and I'm the middle of five children. So I'm talking about my other brothers and sisters and my parents. It just truly felt like such a cage. I was a very rebellious child, like sneaking out when I was like 16 years old. I was like, I was just going the wrong way, right? So... About four years ago, I started my OnlyFans because I think truly it was out of pure rebellion. And tr and like, honestly, I'm such a like independent person that I never felt the need for a man to provide for me. So uh, if you just watch that video without knowing any backstory of this person, maybe you've never seen any of her appearances before, but you have no idea. This video genuinely, it seems quite genuinely, like if you watch it, I don't know if she's a crazy manipulator here, crazy actor over here, but yeah, it seems genuine. It seems like she act yeah, la, 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 la. actually wants to change or whatever. Now, does she actually we will find out at the end of the video, of course. So I started OnlyFans about four years ago and I climbed to top 0.01%. Noise, that's pretty fucking good. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm <laughs> Why saying else would you that say the it? devil can truly give you things in this life. He has a budget though. He can now, I tried to sell my soul. He didn't even take it, bro. My soul's so useless. The devil wouldn't even take it, bro. Sign up for my OnlyFans. Ugh. Can only go so far. So a couple million. Okay, great. The devil can do that sometimes, right? But I truly have gifts and talents. I just did not use them in the right way. And I'm reaching out. I feel like if the gifts and talents she had helped her with her OF, how other, what other ways was she supposed to use them? to anyone who's like questioning what they should do in their life. And I turn to corn. That's corn, what we're gonna call corn, it, okay? Corn, corn. Okay, so here's a bit of advice to anybody who's uh, questioning what they're doing in life. Don't turn to corn, that's an option. Turn to my corn, I'm just kidding. That's always an option. A lot of these people who get into these sort of industries who don't really have much respect for themselves or, you know. It's true, if you're in the cat, if you do, again, just like if you get plastic surgery for other people, you will regret it. And it's okay to regret things. If you get into porn for other people, it's going to be a regret, a corn. Fuck. Like for me, I've been naked. I'm a big proponent of nudity. I think we're animals on a planet. I don't, I'm not anti-nudity. I've been to enough nudist conventions and nudist uh, community events. Like I'm very indifferent, but like also I understand it's not for everybody. But yeah, I think a lot of people have a lot of regret because they do it for other people and not themselves. I couldn't even imagine regretting being naked because I never did it for anyone else. It was always about me. I have regrets, but at the same time, I made those decisions. And the things that I do regret, I do. None of them ever had to do with getting naked online. <laughs> There's the whole meme of being raised without a father, fatherlessness, blah, blah, blah. Nope. 
Discord says, honestly, props to her for grifting the grifters. Bro, I think she might be grifting, and honestly, I'm here for it. Because as far as I know, her OF's still up. Let's see. Proper a masculine role. No, no, no. Sometimes mother. You need a mother figure as well to, to teach you what's OK. What's I have a great, re a great relationship with my parents. Thank you for asking. I just talked to them today. I love them. They love me. You know, not always happy with my choices, but you know what are you going to do? They raised independent children who were going to do their own thing anyways. Not. And uh, some people, you know, they truly regret what they've actually been going through. So I mean, I there are people who regret doing YouTube. There are people who regret getting engineering degrees. There are people who regret going to college. There are people who regret existing. And yet here we are. I reached out and did corn for four years. Um, and I showed myself all over the internet. I said crazy things on podcasts. If you don't know the I Love Cheating podcast. Um, that's an insane podcast, by the way. That's a, that's the name of the podcast. That's crazy. And so I met this person who's now my <clears throat> partner and oh, she's got a boyfriend. He truly showed me God's love in the form of his dick. I'm just kidding. That's I'm sorry. That was inappropriate. That was it's not very funny, is it? I'm so, it's very inappropriate. My bad. <laughs> he was sending me Bible verses, praying over me. And we were just friends. Corinthians 69. Doggy style is God style. One of my favorite verses. So like the Holy Spirit was truly working and moving, but I was in such a rebellion against it. Okay, so <laughs> that's crazy. By the way, if you're if you're one of these people who is in the, I don't know, friend zone of an o OF girl and you're sending her Bible verses, hoping that she's going to change, hoping she's going to quit the corn industry and you're not even her partner or anything. You're just a, you're just a friend. <laughs> Bryson says you let the intrusive thoughts win. I, I'm, you know, just, <laughs> you're like i mean maybe you maybe you're just trying to convert and uh you think it's gonna work but uh let me just say majority of the time it doesn't but i, I guess I, I i don't know if he was doing it in god's Oof. name or was he doing it uh just to get some you know some guys will whip out the bible verses as well to get some you never know he's like you want to come back to my place so i can read you something from psalms yo you ever heard of king david's wisdom it was 12 inches deep baby <laughs> Because I was like, God doesn't love me. I've had to work this hard Girl. for this many years because no Very one cared hard. about me. My family didn't care about me. Christianity is a cage. It's not Christianity. It's religion. Reli religion is the cage. And unfortunately, I didn't have like good role models growing up. My parents, not my surprised. siblings, I didn't have good friends. I truly fell into darkness. And Darkness. I was, like I said, I was top 0.01% creator. Like that is crazy. That is a crazy milestone to reach in that industry. By the way, I've not heard of a single OF chick who is not top 0.001%. They've got to be fudging the numbers here. There's there's no way. Have you heard of a single person who's not that? Come on. So Me. I I'm not on 0.1%. I should start telling people that. Actually, guys, did you know I am a top, top creator of OF? I'm actually number one. I'm bigger than Belle Delphine. I'm bigger than Jessica Nigiri. I'm bigger than this girl. I am so big on OnlyFans. I'm gonna start, guys. It's I didn't. I was good. I was being humble. I didn't want to tell you because you know, you know. But even as a side gig, I do a part time. I make like minimum two million a month, bro. I live humble. I dress humble because you know that's. That's just how I was taught and raised as a Catholic. You know, I'm trying to be humble like St. Francis of Assisi. You feel me? But um, for real, for real, you know. It's true. I made what I made. I did what I did. But I want to share you, share with you guys the truth of it all. Because I am now giving it all up for Christ. I am now truly a believer. I would never take it back. God radically saved me from this darkness. And since then, the money, the fame, the Gucci, Louis, whatever bags, the shoes, the clothing, the huge trips that I've taken doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, do you want to go to heaven or do you want to go to hell? 
And my soul, I'm sorry, but it's not worth going to hell for at all. And God loves you so much mm -hmm. that he's Might be willing too left for that to give one, you but... everlasting life. You need to understand that your life is very temporary here on earth. And we all have a mission. And that's to preach the word of God. All right. Well, that was uh, definitely something. A very long speech by uh, Mrs. Red Hair Girl over here. And um, apparently she's found God. Now, there's two options here. One is that she's not lying. And she's now a new person. She's quit the corn industry. She's quit OnlyFans. She's quit her spicy Instagram. Quit everything. Right? Right? And now she has turned to God. She is a new person. In that case, wow, that's that's impressive. It's uh, it's very hard to turn away from all of that stuff. And that's uh, sort of cool. Right. Number two, uh, the more likely okay, option, I'd say she is lying. And this is yet another promo for the OnlyFans because uh, I don't know when you sink to the to the depths of doing anything for money. I feel like, you know, just manipulating your audience like this is um, very easy, very easy to do. And you can kind of do it very easily. The reason I've always been uh, I'm more on the lying side is that there's still a oh. lot of her social with tons of shit up the only fans link it was temporarily gone for a while uh, and I like shifted my opinion a little bit and then I, I checked back and it's still up there but it says no posts now I'm not gonna fucking subscribe I'm not a degenerate over here right to check What's but her uh, name? somebody her name's Nala hold on so she did porn porn I went from pastor's daughter to millionaire only fans model and make nearly 150,000 a month but I still use coupons <laughs> wow Nala Ray, I can't show you her post because they're <laughs> inappropriate. Woo! That's a booty, though. Okay, cute. Cute. Okay. You can let me know. Actually, no. Nobody, no. Nobody go, okay? But it says no posts. But the OnlyFans is still up, so just take it off. Remove the link. Remove everything. If you've actually turned... Uh, the profile I found for her is a million followers. It's called Fitness Nala, which I think is interesting. So she's doing, like, fitness kind of work. Oh, she's barely got any posts up on her. <gasps> she switched brands. Ooh, smart bitch. But she says, I, I, Agi, what's that? What's that orgasm face? Agiago, queen, Agi, Ag, Agia. She has that in her title, queen cosplayer. Is this her main account? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll show it to you. It's, it's, it's friendly. Hold on. So this is her Instagram now, and it's just fitness stuff. And this is her Christian post, and she deleted her posts. Interesting. She deleted her posts. Okay, interesting. But this, what's this? How do you say this? Agiago face? Hagiago, whatever. She She's known for that. Uh, ahigo. Ahigo face. Okay, the fact that she said it, or she has it here, kind of tells me she didn't become a Christ. Like, she doesn't have Christ in her profile, she doesn't have the crucifix or the cross or any kind of Jesus is his name. So, and then her me picture is totally a sex picture. I don't want to, well, it's for Instagram. So I think I can. Okay. Wow. She's very uh, edited. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's Lauren Chen. We're not there yet. Okay to god here and you're not, you're not disrespecting an entire culture or something yeah remove everything what the hell are you doing okay because the instagram still has the spicy post and everything so i'm more so his video is old because now she doesn't have that up Inclined to believe she's trolling always gotta always gotta check this tab over here trends for you now because one time it had a fucking lolly in it or some because i was watching the the vosh clip the vosh controversy and it uh -oh. had lolly in it, and then somebody commented pegasus oh trends for you lolly like shut the f God, man, fucking Twitter. It can't be asked. So a lot of people are like questioning what she's doing over here. She got her bag mm -hmm. and retired. Okay, so what about the millions of dollars she's made from the corn industry and OnlyFans? Is she going to be donating that stuff? Like, Why would she donate it? I don't get that. I mean, maybe she would donate it, but why would she donate it now? Maybe she would, but why? What, what exactly is the situation here? Because you can't just make all that money and then now turn to God. Then like that's a, that's a perfect exit pretty much. She said, yeah, it's a, it's a, it feels shitty to be like, oh my God, I'm going to make all this money off porn and then I'm going to make a living like talking shit on porn. Lav does that and it pisses me off. But also at the same time, like that is what a lot of people do. And to be fair, it could be a real experience that somebody is having. So it would be good if she donated the money, but also like she also could use it to just like figure her life out since she's going to have to figure out a new career shift. So she didn't need a man to provide her, went to OnlyFans where men literally provided for her. Yeah, that's all of us make money off anyone who has the money. So men provide for this man. If you think OnlyFans content creators 
are being provided by provided for by men and most audience have male streaming audiences like male streamers have male audiences you are also making money and being provided by provided for by men this logic will never make sense to me and it's not really an argument it's just like their way of feeling good about themselves but like there's a difference between a man providing for me and a customer base that's men and if you don't know the difference you're telling on yourself humans are so they tell listen to people when they tell you who they are Listen to people when they tell you who they are. That's, that's a bit, hypocrit bit hypocritical. Now, of course, some people are in full support. It's never too late. Glad she found true love and peace through Christ. Now, while I do agree with supporting people, you know, who are trying to join your thingies and stuff, uh, but um, I, I just think you need to you need to do a full verification, you know, before you open people with welcome arms. OK, for example, Logan Paul can turn around today and be like, I I'm done scamming, guys. Cognitive says, I mean, she already made millions of dollars. She basically just retired, assuming she has that money. Because Lav told me she made $900,000 on OF and she has none of that money left. Some people are really bad with money. I'm not, football players make millions of dollars all the time and they end up with zero dollars. Like, at the end of the day, just because they made the money didn't mean they kept the money. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm turning to God. Jesus told me not to scam anymore. I'm not a scammer anymore. Am I going to welcome him with open arms? No, because I that's literally totally different. Weird take, bro. What? That's totally different. It's not even analogous. I don't believe a word he's fucking saying because the last 500 years was uh him scamming people. B basically, people don't change that easily. Now, if she quits uh, OnlyFans and everything for a, a couple months, maybe a year or so, and then then you can be like, okay, now I welcome you. Okay, I understand or whatever. Even then, this guy isn't a Christian, bro. You have to welcome people even if they're still on OnlyFans. You can be on OnlyFans and go to church. You're just kind of fucking up. Like, you're fucking up. Like, you're sinning, but you can still go to church. Sinners can go to church. Everyone's a sinner in church. You know what I mean? But, like, you're kind of, like, you have to quit eventually because, like, you can't do OnlyFans and be like, Jesus is pro OnlyFans. Right? Like, you shouldn't be, like, promoting OnlyFans as a religious person. It feels kind of strange to do that. But also, meh, people being a Christian is a construct and it's not real. So if you want to pretend like your God exists and then you want to pretend that he's pro OnlyFans, like you do you. Probably needs to donate the money or like get rid of it or something. Cause like, isn't that blood money? Cause like you're, you're like a God person now, right? So how, how do you keep the money? How does that work? Huh? What a bunch of noise and confusion. She's only saying that because she's made enough money already <laughs> that she doesn't need to go back to corn or OF. She said that the devils are giving out millions. Tell them to come knock on my door. Do gay porn. Do an OnlyFans. Lots of men make a lot of money on OnlyFans. <laughs> Jeez, all right. Well, not a follower of God over here. All right. So here we got another video from Ryan Christian Husband Father. Classic. Wow. Uh, for all the Christians that are dogging her for not immediately uh, deleting her OnlyFans. While she did, it's gone. Praise Jesus. Let's see the, the proof for deleting the OnlyFans. Amazing. That is, that is still- But why would she- And he said it's super easy to quit and do the Jesus Act after you've made all the cash in your set. Yeah, but why would you turn to religion? Wouldn't you just retire and have fun? Oh, <gasps> no. Lav went back to OF just this week. Well, Lav's a fucking- Lav is on a journey and all people are people on a journey. Lav is a mess. She has no morals, obviously. So like Lav going back to OnlyFans is not that big of a deal. Now she might be lying. I agree with you there. But I don't think it's that weird for people to stop porn. Like one of the, one of the, you remember the woman who did the deep throat porn in like the 60s who like became the woman who like basically was the first time deep throating was on camera. I forget her name. She ended up becoming an anti-porn activist, which is like fine because I do think the industry is so fucked up. I think the porn industry is very fucked up. But that's why I'm a big fan of OnlyFans, right? But she became an anti-porn activist. And I think that's a thing a lot of people end up doing, right? Now, with this redheaded girl, the question is, is she actually Christian or is she grifting the Christians and then going to come back to OnlyFans in a year? Or is she having a real change? I think it's probably a, a fake. I think it's a fake fake. I think she's doing it for publicity. Personally, I think this I think there's no boyfriend who's Christian. I think it's probably fake, but I'm not mad about it because like people make their money all kinds of ways. So I make money in a way that says I can't grift like this. Because it doesn't match my personality or my brand. But that's, okay, guys, listen to me when I say this. 
when I asked myself, do I want to be an OnlyFans content creator and a cosplayer? Or do I want to be a philosophy YouTuber? This is the decision I made. If I had decided to be an OnlyFans content creator, I would have done things like this. I would have like elaborately put on like shows. I would have gotten billboards. I would have done whatever it would have taken to make money because that's what you're supposed to do. Like you're supposed to get as many people buying your OnlyFans or your sex work as much as possible. So if I was personally going to do sex work full time for real, for real, oh my God, I'd have so much fun getting people to sign up with different campaigns. It would just be so much fun. But I decided that's not really who I am enough. I'm not much of a marketing person 24-7 like that. I'd rather just like be myself and stream. But see, that's a choice I made. She, I think, I could be wrong, is probably doing more of a be as sensational as possible to make as much money as possible. And I'm not even mad about it. As long as she doesn't lie about other people. I don't like that. I don't like when people lie about other people. But if she lies about herself to get money, I don't care. Like if she's like, oh my God, I'm a Christian now. Joke, I'm not a Christian. Like I don't care about that, right? She's not hurting anyone by doing that. If she's lying about people's reputations or lying about other people, I don't like that. You know what I mean? But yeah, let's see if she's real. But you know how this guy's making the video? He's like condemning her and being like, she's a fucking liar maybe. I don't care if she's a liar because I think you should get that bag. But also... I can see why you're upset with her, but also I think you're going to be upset with her no matter what she does. Stellar proof right there. You cannot simply uh, argue with this. Now, FYI, at the time of recording this video, her Instagram has a all my links section or whatever. You click the all my links section and you click there is an OnlyFans and there is a site that goes to the OnlyFans. OK, I don't know if it's says no posts because hold on, I'll look myself. Is the, it says no post if you're not subscribed or whatever, or I'm not going to clarify that. As, as I said, not, not getting, no, no, no. This is not someone in my opinion who's being genuine. I have Nala Fitness on OnlyFans, $10 a month. One post, one media post. Subscribe to see the post. I'm assuming it could be something like Jesus loves you or no, this looks like her. It has a million likes with one post, but the one post doesn't have a million likes probably. So I'm assuming this is her original OF account, but I wonder if she's still taking money. I don't want to subscribe. <sighs> should I subscribe to see what the post is? I should. For research purposes only, I will subscribe to see what it is. Oh, I don't have a payment card on my own OnlyFans account. Wow, I'm so bad at my job. Her Amazon wish list is still there. Uh, does anybody have this like OnlyFans Nala Fitness? And you went, well, you can't tell from a 10 second video, can you? We'll just have to see if she produces good or bad fruit. What are you, what, what, what are you talking about, Ryan? <laughs> Phew, at least her Instagram is still active. I was getting worried. She's trending in the right direction. She has deleted her OnlyFans link about a month ago. She was getting dog for still having them. And now she doesn't. Now y'all are moving the goalposts. Let's see more replies. Deleting your stuff isn't trending. You're in on this marketing play pathetic. Now, a lot of people get extra conspiratorial where she has paid these Christian people over here mm. or like fake Christians or whatever the hell to advertise her or, or something like that, which I don't think this guy's the case. I think he's just one of one of the people who's been scam art. Now, um, a, a lot of you might be thinking, well, why are you making a video? Isn't this just a promo for her as well? Yeah. Listen, one, I think my audience is smart enough, okay? If any of you go over to her socials, you are banished from this <laughs> channel. I will find you uh -oh, and I, I will it. telephone your mother. I will like, Timmy, Timmy, I'll call Timmy's mom, okay? I'll be like, hey, Timmy, Timmy's, Timmy's being degenerate on the internet, okay? But also, I don't like that logic because then I just can't talk about anything, okay? I can't talk about a, a pedo True. because he might be, uh, I'm, I'm giving him, I don't know, attention or something. That just makes no sense. Okay, I'm allowed to talk about whatever. I don't care. All right, we got more people. Christ is king. Amen. Uh, another one, Satan won't claim. Praise the Lord. God can save anyone. I do believe God can save anyone, but not sure about her. <laughs> just this Christ is king thing is also going viral right now for a lot of reasons. Like apparently it's a dog whistle uh, for people like Candace Owens. I don't know what it means and I'm kind of lost, but Christ is king is also like a Christian reference. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know what it means. 
We even got the whatever podcast host who made the tweet with uh, three videos saying, we did it, boys, as if this guy has somehow converted this person. Autism Capital saying, you didn't do... <laughs> what is this name? You didn't do anything. She's just farming a new audience. Dude, somebody said another god double <laughs> What the... Dude, the internet is so crazy, man. I don't know how people talk like that. Whatever. So here's one of the reasons I don't believe her for a second. This is from 11 weeks ago. We all have a god uh, choice. I chose God, baptized, right? And it's her getting dunked in or whatever uh yeah okay she's getting dunked in whatever your entire internet presence is you not look her face this is such a whore face i love that like it's such a dick face right like she should think about that before she dedicates herself to god genuinely but also funny it's a bit funny isn't it it's a bit funny She's in God. She does this while promoting an OnlyFans. Before you comment, please, she's a human being. You don't know blah, 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 judging someone. God's love is unconditional. Okay, here we are on her Instagram. Let's actually find out. Is this person legit? First off, you would not have these clips on if you're legit. I don't think you'd have this on. I don't think you'd have this on. Here's the baptizing. All this is old. We just checked her Instagram. All of this is gone. Thing. And then if you go back, there's all these. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not buying it. Okay, here we are on the site. And is this still definitely up? It says no posts, no media. I don't know what this means. Well, I would not have this link up if you've actually changed. But uh, anyways, can we stop believing people on the internet so quickly? It's just dumb. Oh, man, everything is dumb. The entire internet is dumb. I hate everything. Hold on. When did he make this video? He made this eight days ago. So just for reference, eight days ago, he made this. Okay. Okay. I'm on her OnlyFans. And... Okay. I'm on her OnlyFans. And it's a video. Hold on. I'm going to mute it in case it's weird. Okay, it's an 11 second video of her rapping to a Christian song about how she gave her life to Christ. And I just paid $10 to see that. So you guys better like this fucking stream so I can get that $10 back, please. <laughs> but basically, it's literally just her rapping about how she gave her life to Christ in a lip sync video. And I just paid $10 for that. So please, guys, like the stream so I get my $10 back. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, wow. I really just did the research here. Everything. Bye. Oh, wow. That was it. Okay. Congratulations to all of us for doing the work. Okay. Now I need to unsubscribe from her OnlyFans so it doesn't re... Um, how do I do that? Unsubscribe. Subscribed. Unsubscribe. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I really just paid $10 for that. She wrote, um, she has an automatic message that goes to your inbox. It says, you are here at a very exciting time. Lots of things are changing. You'll be the first to know if you stick around. I can't wait. XOXO Nala. Now she can use her OnlyFans for Christian stuff, right? She can do that. She can, she can decide to like use her OF for Christian content. Um, actually, a common misconception is that OnlyFans is literally only for corn. It's not. You know, uh, Darko says this dude in the video legit doesn't know anything about Christianity and really doesn't seem to care about Christianity. Why the hell is he so mad? Bro, he didn't know anything about Christianity. It was hilarious. So funny. Oh, my gosh. Well, here we go. I, you know, I don't know if it's real. Um... But I appreciate the hustle either way. Hey, if she's Christian, good for her. If she's not and she's getting the bag, good for her. All around, I feel like good for her. I'm not the biggest fan of her aesthetic, like in terms of like the way she promotes her OnlyFans. Look, I'm very sex positive. So I do get bummed out when a lot of the people in corn or in sex work come off trashy, unhinged, and immoral. Because I don't think being nude is immoral. I don't think doing porn is immoral. I don't think... Having a relationship with, you know, your body is immoral. So it kind of bums me out when, <clears throat> as a sex worker, you decide to have a, a persona that's kind of degenerate. But also it sells the most to angry men that want to, like, jerk off to you. But I also have – so I have a very, like, supportive OF community. I feel like they're very, very lovely. There is a mixture of, of course, women and men. So I'm really lucky in that regard. 
And I obviously do what I want to do. I don't take customs. I don't take requests. I take suggestions, but I usually just do what I want to do. And so it's very different. Like I'm obviously like I, I love the money, but I'm not in there for just the money. Um, like I said, before I did OF, I was just posting nudes for free on Tumblr because I liked nude art. But I decided to make some money off of it because I was doing it anyways. But also, um, it's nice to have a little side gig, you know, that's fun and interesting and about your imagination and then it makes you some money. I feel like that would be very cool to see very positive representations of sex work more and more. But, you know, as much as these men want to scream that corn is degenerate and the women who are doing it are degenerate, it's really the men who are watching it who make the experience so toxic, in my opinion. And then the women play into that toxicity because it sells the most. And I think it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy for both of them. And then they end up both being toxic. It's like it's like YouTube drama. Like toxicity sells in terms of views, but then you have to be toxic to participate in the bubble. And that sucks. Like money's just not worth it, bros. Like you, you can live an average good life with average money. You don't need to make millions of dollars if it means being toxic. Like what's the point? You know? Darko says I'm a Christian and my mindset is that if she's lying, that's on her. If she's actually a Christian now, then cool. And if she goes back to porn as a Christian, then I personally won't judge her. So people are on a journey. This is her journey. Now, <clears throat> co coinciding with this bubble, I want to jump into Lauren Chen, who Lauren I've worked with in the past at a conference. And Lauren is actually this pretty in real life. But I dislike Lauren's ideas so much. Like Lauren and I could not disagree more on ideas, but I, she was very nice to me when we worked together many, many, many years ago. She is this pretty in real life and she's very, seems very, has, she seems to have very strong conviction, but she covered something in this video. I kind of pre-watched it a little bit, but didn't watch the whole thing where she talked about how OnlyFans girls are mostly broke. And I've been trying to say this to people, content creation, streaming, OnlyFans, Asmin, Tectone, all these people have talked about it. These are not easy industries. They only look easy because you're in love with the top, top people. But these are very difficult industries to maintain income in. So this fantasy that you're going to make lots of money doing streaming or OnlyFans is an illusion. And you're only seeing the top, top, top content creators actually promoting themselves. And so like if you think, you know, if you think you're going to get a Bugatti putting out videos that get 30,000 views, like you're crazy, right? Balto says, isn't it funny how men hate OF girls but promote Andrew Tate and want to be Hugh Hefner? Men being promiscuous is good, but women being doing it is so bad. Oh, it's like such a bubble thing, right? Which I totally understand. We all live in these bubbles. There is literally the irony of this bubble where they will follow Andrew Tate, hate on slutty women, and Andrew Tate made his money off what? The backs of slutty women. Kind of funny. Kind of funny how that works. Anyways, I want to use Lauren's video to talk about that bigger reality that I don't think people understand in conjunction with the redhead OnlyFans girl, Lana, Nala, whatever. Because the thing that I think is so clear is that the, the idea that people keep putting forth is that it's easy to make the money. You just got to put yourself on the internet. But that's never the truth. And that's why people like Hassan who says like streaming drains your spoons, people piss on him because they think streaming is easy. Yeah, it's easy in a sense, but it's never as easy as it seems. And if it was that easy, everybody would be doing it, right? So at this point, I'm pretty much convinced that the media is trying to push or convince women into becoming sex workers who sell themselves online. And I'm pretty sure the media is trying to convince you that your life sucks and everyone is living a life better than yours. So you can keep clicking on their videos and reading their articles about how you're poor and they're rich which is working, but it's not about them wanting to, you to be sex workers. It's about them wanting you to be someone you're not so you can read articles and click on Instagram posts where you dream about being someone you're never going to be, like a Kim Kardashian, who, by the way, rumor has it the Kardashians are millions of dollars in debt, just like Kanye, just like all these other people, because even the most biggest mega stars are overspending their budgets. So remember, every time you look at somebody else who seems to be having a better life than you, 
remember that it's social media. The only person who's actually having a better life than you is the you in the future that you're working towards. That's it. The only person having a better life than me right now is Brittany 10 years from now. Otherwise, I'm not in competition with any of you bitches. The only person whose life I'm worried about is my own. And that might sound hyperbolic and maybe even a little bit conspiratorial, but really look at these articles and tell me I'm wrong. It seems like I can't go a single day without some publication or another telling me how much women are making on OnlyFans. From the New York Post, TikTok influencer Tara's World claims she makes $350,000 a month on OnlyFans. From MSN, how a 45-year-old OnlyFans star has earned over $1 million in revenue. How to make $10,000 a month or more on OnlyFans, according to creators from Business Insider. Because I guess sex work counts as business in 2023. We also have this. I quit my day job for only- How is sex work not a business in 2023? If selling cancer uh, chips to your children is. Isn't that amazing? They will let you sell cancer chips to your children, but God forbid you sell your pussy. OnlyFans, my family had no idea. This article tells the story of a single mom who said she moved across Texas to launch her OnlyFans account and is now reportedly earning $40,000 a month. So essentially the takeaway these outlets want you to leave with, or at least what it seems like they want you to leave with. Also, a lot of people inflate their incomes for the views. Guys, did I mention I'm 0.1% on OnlyFans? I'm actually the top OnlyFans content creator. Mm -hmm. is that if you're a woman and you're not on OnlyFans making over six figures easily, you're basically a sucker who's doing more work for less money. And here's the thing, as a woman, not only do I find it just morally reprehensible for these media outlets to promote sex work as anything other than disgraceful, reprehensible, and absolutely not feminist, but these articles are also grossly misrepresenting the average experience that a regular woman on OnlyFans will have. Because you see, as it turns out, at least according to the data, most women on OnlyFans are broke. I'm gonna be talking more about that, but first I do wanna say a big thank you to today's sponsor, Patriot Gold. Have you kept up with the headlines this year? Well, BlackRock is currently working to combat inflation a crash, but meanwhile, gold session and number two, that investors should be buying gold. Not Americans of the Patriot Gold Group today, Chen, you will get best Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer six years in a row. And a huge thank you to Patriot Gold for sponsoring these videos. We couldn't do it without them. And here's the thing. Ultimately, if you're a woman or a man or some type of third made up gender, the reality is you shouldn't be on OnlyFans even if you could be making millions of dollars because it's just, it's an immoral thing to do. Pornography mm. can ruin lives both for the people who are consuming it and who are producing it. And it can ruin your life. But you know what else can ruin your life? Existing. So you better stop doing that too, according to Lauren Chen. You don't want to get tangled up in that mess. And I don't say that to shame anyone who either watches or produces porn. I say that because I care about people and I don't want to see them making bad decisions that they will regret. So regardless of the money, no, you shouldn't be on OnlyFans. But here's the thing, even if you do want to do it perhaps for the money, the thing is there's just likely not any money attached to OnlyFans. Just there is no money attached to streaming. There's no money attached to OnlyFans. There's no money attached to being an Instagrammer or an influencer. There's only the potential for that money to grow. You work for free in hopes to make money. That is the model of this particular job, guys. This job, and I say it time and time again, you work for free in hopes to make money. There is absolutely no guarantee of tomorrow's paycheck, which some jobs are like that as well. But that is just the reality of all content creation. So she's right, but I want you to remember that this is true, not just for OnlyFans. This is true for streaming. This is true for her job right now. This is true for basically any self-made or individual like streamer, content creator, influencer. If you're an entrepreneur, you wake up every day and you hope to make money that day. If you have a regular job, when you clock into work, you're on the like you're on the clock and you're making money and there is a whole system set up to protect your rights as a worker. As a 1099 contractor for a lot of these jobs, you don't have that. You know what I mean? So again, I agree with Lauren. I just want to extend this to every industry. Now, I don't think OnlyFans is immoral. I obviously am pro sex work. I have an OnlyFans. I like sex work. I think it's great as long as you're doing it morally, meaning within your values. And I think consent should be involved in all of these things. And so again, I just want to send this warning out to all content creators because this illusion that streaming is easy or like it's easy to make money is just, it's so silly despite what the media might try to convince people of by only focusing on the small percentage of people who are actually successful on the site. And to explain what I mean, here's this article from Evie Magazine titled, No, You Won't Get Rich Quick on OnlyFans, The Math Behind the Fool's Gold Rush. Because you see, quote, making about $2,500 a month on OnlyFans puts you in the top 1% of OnlyFans creators. And that might sound like a lot, but it adds up to about $15 an hour and that's all pre-tax. In other words, you can yeah. make the same amount working at Chipotle and OnlyFans doesn't even have guac. And I know- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making $2,500 a month on OnlyFans puts you in the top 1%. That's not true. No, that's not true. There's no way $2,500 is the top 1% now. It might be. Maybe. 
Um, that changes obviously depending on who's on the site. But yeah, it's about it's about minimum wage ultimately. Even YouTube, even the work like you end up doing, like it's like twenty to forty to fifty dollars an hour, which is still good. But you know, if you there are other industries that pay more, and you can work less hours. But the idea is that you're, it's like the Mark Cuban. I always say, I always use this as an example. Mark Cuban always said he'd rather work 100 hours a week for himself making 50K than 50 hours a week making 100K for somebody else or 50K working for somebody else. Basically, I'd rather work double the hours making the same amount for myself than work less hours for somebody else. And I think that's a personality thing. I really do. Genuinely, I know I'm neurodivergent enough and I know I'm like independent enough and I also know like I want to be my own boss enough to know that I have to go an alternative route because like working as a team and working in an office and going to work is like not my vibe. I play to my strengths. That's a big tool I would love to give you guys. Know your strengths and play to them because a lot of people tell you to play to their strengths, but like that's not going to help you if you're not like them. That's why for some people, college is the answer. And for some people, trade school is the answer. Play to your strengths. Some people do better at trade school. Some people do better in college. Some people do better in neither. But a lot of people feel pressured to do the thing that their bubble has told them to do. And I don't recommend that because I don't think it's working for a lot of people. You know? Some of you might be thinking, hey, $2,500 a month, that's quite a lot of money. And you're right. It is. That's not... Balto says, wait, is this data only women or all content creators? It's probably all content creators on OF. Not bad money, but is it worth selling yourself online, essentially becoming a prostitute just for the same amount of money that, again, you could make? Ooh, is it worth selling your soul to a right-wing grift operation for money? Probably not. But I'd rather sell my vagina and not lie than sell my soul by lying for a grift that's not my values. I would rather sell my body because that's, that's the truth, baby. That's the Bible. That's the word of God. Versus getting on YouTube and doing a grift, which a lot of these conservatives do. A lot of these people be hoes behind closed doors, guys. A lot of these people be cheating and lying and hoeing around. A lot of them be, be sucking dick when they're boys. Not kids, but like men. Okay? But that's considered more dignified than sex work. And I know it is because when they get caught, everyone goes, eh, he's just like going through stuff right now, guys. He's just like going through stuff, guys. I think you should be honest and I think you should choose your values. I think roaming, um, I think Lauren is generally speaking probably consistent with her values. I don't, I've never heard anything about her in private or public that says she's not. So I'm not really talking about her. And I maybe she would agree with that that you shouldn't be grifting as a conservative either. But I think you should do what's honest about in relation to your values. Freya says, I feel like anyone who would watch Lauren wouldn't be on OnlyFans anyway. She's just saying what her audience already thinks. Yeah, and in the echo chamber, for sure. Yeah, for sure, ultimately. And it's true, if you do anything on the internet or anything on OnlyFans, you know, be ready to, I mean, be ready to just like understand that it's on the internet, right? Walkaway Man says, have you heard anything about the new Steven Crowder situation? I already talked about it at the beginning of stream. Working at Chipotle or any other number of companies that pay $15 an hour. Like, obviously, there should be no amount of money that's worth it for you to degrade yourself by selling photos of yourself naked online. But it's like, if you're going to do it, I would assume it should at least be for more than what you could make at Chipotle. You're worth more. Well, that's the problem. It's not about the money. It's about the convenience of working from home, being neurodivergent, waking up. Like, think about it. Would you rather make $2,500 at home? where you can make your own hours and you can work in the middle of the night if you're a night owl. Or if you are, like you have fibromyalgia like I do, you can like work at different times when you don't feel a flare up. Like this month was really hard on my body and then I got my period twice this month and I was really frustrated. And so I didn't do an OnlyFans shoot to the very last of the month, which my, thank God my audience is really understanding about because I always provide, I do one major shoot and one video like a month. That's like how, that's my, that's how I do my things. And they wait all month or at the beginning of the month they get, they just get it based off how my body feels. But I can't do that in another job. So for me, I'm really lucky that I can produce content based off of when I can. You don't, does that make sense? So it's not about making more than you would make minimum wage. It's about making enough to live your life 
and also having the flexibility of hours and also not having to commute to work. And also, 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 we all have different reasons. Again, play to your strengths of why we choose the jobs we do. Many people choose jobs because they feel like there's nothing else that they could do or this is the only choice they have, right? But there's so much, there's so much more that you could do for yourself that like Lauren will never understand. Lauren will never understand why be an OnlyFans content creator unless you're making a lot of money. It's not just about the money. It's about so much more than that sometimes. Even being a streamer, it's not about how much money I'm making. It's about the fact that I can work from home and I don't have to commute and I have to deal with people and I don't have to report to anybody. Like, I'd rather do this, making minimum wage, than do McDonald's working minimum wage because I don't have to leave my house. More than that, ladies, you're worth more than $15 an hour. And again, that's only if you're in the top 1%. And just to put into perspective how unlikely it is for you to get into the top 1% of OnlyFans creators, this article explains that it's more likely that a college football player makes it to the NFL than it is for an OnlyFans worker to make as much as a Chipotle worker. To be fair, same with streaming, but also to be fair, people are bad at marketing themselves. It's hard. You have to market yourself. You have to work for free. You have to do a lot just to get noticed which is why we have to ask the question if redhead girl is doing the whole I'm a Christian thing to get noticed. OnlyFans as a platform has more than 1 million registered content creators. So what do most of them earn? On average, only $180 a month. And here's the thing. Oh, it's gone up. I heard it was 50 last time. It's gone up. Since famous creators like Tara Lynn are pulling up that average, most creators are making a lot less than that. Mm -hmm. $180. How pitiful would it be for you to create an OnlyFans account? Yeah, but those girls are also posting probably not nudes or they're posting like really bad photos or they're not actually posting ever. For you to sell yourself online, degrade yourself, have the most disgusting, vile people you could think of, people who you hate. Hey, 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 hey. I have a very nice OnlyFans audience. They are very nice and good people. Well, to purchase yourself for only like five bucks a month for it to only net you. A My OnlyFans is $20 a month and it's worth it. $180 a month. That would be depressing and demoralizing to say the least, but the thing is for far- Yeah, don't, d guys, it would be d like horrible to go into work every day and get yelled at. If I get any people who sign up for my OnlyFans and if they send any mean messages or any disgusting messages, they get banned. You know? Kendra says, Brittany, is there any scenario you can think of where an OF would become against your values? Like not in a specific act, but overall? Um, uh, let me think. Um... Uh, obviously if there was a consent violation of some kind, uh, maybe if I found out, I don't know, like, uh, uh I'm trying to think of like what would happen. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, maybe if there's like a consent violation or Brittany, is there any scenario you can think of where OnlyFan would become against your values? Yeah, I'm not sure what that could be. Mm, I would have to, ch I could change my values maybe. Like maybe I woke up one day and decided like modesty is the way. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure what it could be. I'm not sure what that would be. Obviously, I'm concerned with consent stuff. So maybe something like that. Or maybe if OnlyFans took like 90% of my income, then it wouldn't be worth it to me. I'd probably go to a different platform but do the same work too many women. This is their reality. This is the average experience of a woman on OnlyFans, but this isn't something the media talks about that often. And I have to wonder why it is. Now, obviously doing stories about OnlyFans gets clicks because it's salacious. I mean, let's face it. There's a reason why I'm doing this video and why so many other videos have been done on the same or similar topics mm -hmm. on this channel. Media exists to get clicks and earn revenue. That's how they support themselves. That's the job. I understand it. But even with that in mind, they could at least- <gasps> Freya says a guy of mine signed up for your OF and he says it's lit. I mentioned I listened to your streams and he knew you from OF. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's go. I try. I want to get even better at it. Like, honestly, sometimes I'm sad I can't make it my full time job. But also, like, I'm more I'm too focused on this. Like, this is definitely my like focus. But I really want to like oof, I want to I have such dreams for my OF, like such dreams. But yeah, it's pretty good. This video this month was like. It was pretty good. I liked the video I made. Freya says he was like 10 out of 10 tatas. <laughs> Thank you. Tell him I said thank you. I do like my tatas. I think they're very, very good. To accurately report on OnlyFans, what it's like to be an OnlyFans creator. But instead, they seem to only want to push positive narratives about what it is to be an OnlyFans woman. I mean, we hear all the time, oh, she's making $10,000 a month, $300,000 a month, millions of dollars a year. Why are they focusing so much on this, this small, tiny portion of women who are actually successful? I, I can't think of any other reason. Yeah, just because it sells clicks and it's good for sensationalism. That's it. They're not trying to make you sex workers, guys. They're just trying to sell their articles.
Aside from the push to normalize sex work and to encourage women out there to join the platform. I mean, to put it in perspective, how could the conspiracy theory brained of conspiracy like of conservatives is so exhausting. Why would there be a conspiracy theory that the news outlets are writing about OnlyFans models so you can become an OnlyFans model? How would that benefit them? Like, how would that benefit them? You know what I mean? It just makes no sense. Snowfire says, no, don't make it your full-time job. I love your streams. Like the streams, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to become an OnlyFans model full-time. But you know what I mean? <laughs> Ingrid says, nah, nah, nah. Her butt is her best asset. Honestly, though, my butt pictures on Instagram get more likes than any other type of photo I post. Y'all are perverts, bro. Hentai, all of you. Like, literally, the girls in my audience like my butt pictures because most of the followers I have are women, obviously, on all of my platforms. And so... On Instagram, y'all like my booty pictures the best. I might just make it always my booty. I'm telling you, I get the most likes on my booty pictures. I get it though. I love a good booty pic on Instagram. Don't get me wrong, you know? Anyways, okay. Lauren coming up with this conspiracy theory that they're trying to normalize sex work. Some people for sure, as I think it should be. But also, it's funny. They want to normalize a man. Oh my God, these people. Andrew Huberman's life is no one's business. Oh, so a man has five girlfriends? So you want to normalize a man chronically cheating and spreading STIs? You want to normalize a man lying, gaslighting women? But God forbid you normalize a woman having agency and selling her pussy on the internet. Misogyny, patriarchy, feminist buzzwords. Feminist buzzwords. Scuttle says, I mean, they do basically the same thing as actors and musicians showing how wealthy they are and it's not the media trying to tell everyone to become actors. Same thing. These industries are not easy. It's not easy to do these things. But of course, we want to promote the most successful so it looks easy. Balto says, isn't it funny how conservatives will make these arguments against OF like Lauren is, but then they don't uh, go to college and start a business? Not saying business is bad. It's just not easy. Well, ultimately, I don't think people even know they're not, many people aren't consistent with their morals, whether they're progressives or conservatives. I find that most of the world knows very little bit about themselves and why they believe what they believe. And I think that that is the reality of us and we have to radically accept that. It is hard to know yourself because you have to dismantle so much of what you already believe and it was already exhausting getting to the point where you at least believe something, you know? Emmer says, women know it's an option. I think you know if something you want slash can do, it being normalized isn't what makes it an easy choice. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Cognitive says, but he wasn't trying to promote that lifestyle. Someone had to dig deep for it. I, that's, no, not Andrew promoting the lifestyle. The people around him who are justifying his actions. Saying like, oh, that's none of our business. Well, then why do you care what OnlyFans content creators do? Like, ultimately, it's the same thing. If you're a public figure... By living your life a certain way, you are an example of that lifestyle. And it's it's not promoting it necessarily, but it's kind of like that's what people look to. We're looking for examples and we're saying, well, if they do it, I can do it. And I'm saying it's not, I don't think it's bad. I walk the walk personally. I think if you see me do it, most things in life, I would recommend you do them if you want to, but only if you're like me. Like I think it's great to do OnlyFans. Yeah, if you want to do it and you think it's good for you, you should do it, but you should think really hard about why you want to do it. And you should remember that it's not like easy money. You want to be a streamer? Cool. Just remember, it's not easy money. It's very hard money. Unless you somehow skyrocket to the top of the top of the top, it is a grind every day, 12 hours a day. So, and you're making minimum wage. Mostly. Just like OnlyFans creators are mostly making nothing, completely warped most reporting on OnlyFans creators is. Could you imagine if any time you read a story about a drug dealer, a crack dealer, it was nothing but this heroin dealer makes $5 million a year. Ask him how. Man abandons Isn't that amazing how they always relate sex work to crack addicts or drug dealers? And by the way, um, are marijuana dispensaries considered drug dealers? in order to sell crack now makes 10 times what he used to. I think most of us could agree, even if those particular stories were accurate, it would still be just wholly irresponsible journalism. But for some reason, that is exactly what we see in regard to pushing women into sex work. I know the term feminism has basically lost all positive connotations, at least on the right. I love this. Like, I just love how bubbled it is, right? It's so perfectly scripted. There's like absolutely zero nuance.
but this is just, if you actually are in favor of women's empowerment, trying to convince women to post photos of themselves naked online for $180 a month, knowing that this will likely ruin future relationships for them, it's just, it's so disgusting and opportunistic and exploitative. Because it can be exploitative. It can be bad for them. You know, it just depends on the relationship they're having with it. And it could ruin some future relationships for them. But also, at the end of the day, like, who are those relationships that they're ruining it for? Maybe, for sure. But also, it's like saying, oh, if you're a Christian, it's going to ruin your future relationships with non-Christians. You you're supposed to stop being a Christian now? That's what, not only are you likely to only make $180 a month, that's if you actually put in the time and effort to make content because as this article points out, OnlyFans money, it's not passive money. You have to actually be doing things, putting in hours yeah. in order to get people to sign up. But whether people sign up or not, you still have to actually put in the time to make the content. So it's actually more of a gamble than just getting a regular job because at least if you work at Chipotle, you are guaranteed to get paid for the hours that you work. Not I agree. And I say the same thing about streaming, the same thing about Instagram, the same thing about anything. I want Lauren now to say the same thing about YouTube because it's the same model. And that's what we'll see if she's a hypocrite because that is the same model on YouTube. You do it for free in hopes to get paid. Not the case with OnlyFans. And also I've done previous videos about this, but this is something, OnlyFans is something where if you do it, it is going to affect the way that your family and your potential boyfriends see you. Your feminist friends may- First of all, again, one of the, when I was courting my husband, I was like, I'm a sex worker. I'm pro sex work. If you have any problem with sex work, we're not, we're not going to get married or date. I'm not interested. He's pro-sex work. He's pro-porn. We have a good relationship. We love each other. It works for us. It's not going to work for all people, but it works for us, right? And we are not like other people. So I'm sorry, y'all are like each other, but we're in a different category. You're in a different category. We are not the same. Muslims are not Catholics. We are different, okay? We are all different. So again, I agree with Lauren, but I also want this again, same model for YouTube. I may tell you otherwise, but uh, no, sex work is not real work and men are right to view the sex work is not real work. That is a subjective belief system that her bubble believes. And I think that's her right to believe it. I disagree. If I pay tax, I'm working. And OnlyFans content, creator, content creators, I get taxed 20%, which is more than a person who works at Chipotle this negatively when they're evaluating whether they want to date you. Heck, if you don't believe me, you think I'm just trying to shame people because I'm this mean conservative, listen to what this OnlyFans creator has to say for herself. So I just found out that apparently the reason why men can't date me, you know, they say they're my friends, they respect me, they care for me so much. They say I'm like the ideal woman, they talk me up, they say I'm a great mother, I'm great this, I'm the best, and they really like me, and they really like who I am. I'm a caring person, I wear my heart on my sleeve, like nothing but good things. But they say, I can't be with you because of your history and your past. What? We all have a past and we all have a history. The only difference is I filmed mine. Mine's on camera. Does that make me not dateable? Seriously, yes or no? Well, just certain bubbles, of course. Guys, all bubbles will find you undateable. Hell, if you're disabled, they'll find you undateable. If you're black, you're undateable. If you're a man, you're undateable. If you're anything, you're undateable. If you play video games, you're undateable to some people. Who cares? Right? Like, that's the irony. Why are we pretending like there isn't a bubble of women that also won't date men who play video games? And there's a bubble of men who won't date OnlyFans content creators. Cool. Don't date those people. Why would I date a man who believed sex work was bad when I have no reason to think it's bad? It's the relationship you're having with it. It's like me dating somebody who's anti-weed. Why would I date somebody who's anti-weed? It makes no sense. Why would a Christian date somebody who's anti-Christian? Make it make sense. But they're saying we're better than you and we're the only right decision. And if you don't date us, you're the reason, like you're the crazy person. Isn't that funny? Thunder says, can you do sex work and work at Chipotle at the same time? Now that is the life. That's the life. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. <laughs> I also forget to add that they want to sleep with me. They want to, you know, with me. So let's put all that together. Fuck those men. Those men were, are not your soulmates, dude. Your soulmate doesn't give a fuck. Get the shall we? Look, we all have a path. Not that your soulmate, your, everyone has the right to their like life. My conservative family would obviously date other conservatives. Why would they date progressives? Why would me as a progressive, why would I date a conservative? It just doesn't make any sense. Right. And if you want to use that past and like not be able to give me an opportunity or like whatever because of my past, because it's, it's accessible for you and your mates to see, and that's a you problem, not a me problem. For it sure. is what it is, ladies. I know that there are a lot of girls out there that used to have OnlyFans accounts or used to be in just straight up porn and now aren't and they regret doing it. And I feel really bad for those women. Yeah, everyone regrets something.
Some people regret becoming nuns. Some people regret going to the military. Some people regret existing. Lauren Chen is telling you to kill yourselves. If you regret something, if somebody out there regrets something, you shouldn't do it. Some people really regret having kids. You should kill your kids. I think that's what Lauren's trying to say. I could be wrong. But that sounds like that's what she's saying. If anyone ever regretted anything, you shouldn't do it. Interesting. I didn't, Lauren, Lauren's kind of extreme, bro. I never knew this about her. Women who, you know, aren't the same person they used to be. They're trying to turn their lives around, but at the same time, proof of their past exists online and it will always exist. There's not much we can do about that though, right? Because I understand men who, even if the woman has changed, they still would rather not involve themselves in someone like that. For those women, there's nothing we can do to undo their past. But what we can do is at least tell these types of stories so that more women don't fall down the same trap. And again, this is not to shame anybody, even though I think we should bring back shame in a lot of ways for a lot of reasons. But ultimately, if you actually care about someone, shaming doesn't work. It makes no sense. I don't believe in public shaming. I don't believe in shame. I know a lot of you on my last videos wanted me to publicly shame a 19 year old. And I think you should probably check yourself. If you think a girl who's 35 should be shaming a 19 year old for having a lived experience internally, you're crazy. But you do you, right? Like shame doesn't work. You shouldn't want them going down the OnlyFans route. It's just, it's gross. There's so much more you could be doing with your life and with yourself. So, I mean, why allow men who you would probably think are gross or perverts or who you would probably hate the ability to pay the same amount that they would for a cup of coffee in order to see you at your most vulnerable? It just, it doesn't make sense. So, please. Mm, who says it's my most vulnerable? That's your mistake. She thinks it's my most vulnerable. Joke's on you. It's not. As women. It's the perception that I'm at my most vulnerable. But is it truly your most vulnerable? And let's do better. Let's strive to make OnlyFans. Freya said the irony, of her, the iron, irony of her saying proof of your past exists online forever as a YouTuber. It's so funny. You know, Thunder says a shaming and beauty of fetish without the safety word, bro. Taboo again, please. That's pretty much all I have to say for now, though. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ren says Airdate's hot take on that 19-year-old was crazy. Bro, human's gonna human, bro. If you're thinking of the same tweet I'm thinking of, yeah, just very, very unwise. But if I don't know if it's the same tweet I'm thinking of, but it helps me out so, so much. Until next time. Okay, peace and love uh, to Lauren. I just thought that was interesting. And look, like I said, Lauren wasn't a very nice person to me in person. I have nothing bad to say about her. I've never heard anything bad about her behind closed doors. Um, but I just don't think her way is the only way. And I think whether Redhead is a Christian now or she's grifting, you know, everyone's on their own journey. Again, I don't, as long as she's not lying about other people, I don't care if she lies about herself being a Christian, right? So why's my life a mess? Please tell me Cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool